Well, good Saturday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. Hope you had a good night's rest and you are ready to face the day. Um, we are awaiting our children and grandchildren and uh, my mom and cousins going to have a little get together. Um, I guess I'll show you my shirt. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> But uh, this is our uh, get-together uh, for Christmas. Of course, uh, Christmas Eve falls on Sunday this year, and so we'll be in service Sunday morning, Sunday evening, and then uh, Christmas is Monday. And so we're going to go ahead and pass some gifts and have a good time today. And I realize the older I get that uh, they're not going to be uh, things change every year. Let's put it that way. And, you know, I often think, uh, we may never be like we are, uh, next year. And this year here in our home, especially, it will be proof of that. There will be people that won't be here and it's not because they're not still living. They are, but, uh, some circumstances have changed and, and we love those people very much, but we will miss them. Um, so enjoy your time that you have with your loved ones. I'm not going to sing today, but I am going to read to you the Christmas story from the book of Luke in chapter 2. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. This taxing was first made when Serenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea and unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and the lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the fields, the same country, shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them and the glory of the Lord shone round about them. And they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into the heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad, saying, which made known abroad the saying which was made, which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them. In her heart. And the shepherds returned to glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. We look for a lot of things in our life. Um, people always looking for something to satisfy, and, and no doubt, um, when you're out shopping, I said to Teresa, Friday morning, I was getting ready to leave for work. I said, when I 
when I come home tonight, uh, we'll, we'll, if you want, we'll do some last minute shopping. Well, when I get home in the evening, she had taken care of uh, her cars out of the shop now. And so she's taking care of some last minute things. And I said, do we need to go anywhere? And she said, no. I said, do you want to go anywhere? She said, not really. I said, do you have everything you need? She said, I do. <laughs> and so I didn't have to go out. I could only imagine what it would be like of uh, the folks looking for something to buy for someone. Sometimes the gifts you give people, even here, they mean maybe something to you and you give it to them and maybe they don't it, they don't receive it the way you thought they would. Maybe it doesn't mean as much to them. But the gift of eternal life that come to us when Jesus came to this earth and generation after generation after generation, it's been handed down and people have looked. There is a song that I sing and usually this time of year is a great time to sing it. Uh, it still takes a wise man to pray. It still takes a wise man to seek Jesus. My prayer is today that if you haven't done that, that you will. I'm going to enjoy the time that I have with the kids and grandkids. And probably I just sit over in the corner sometimes and listen and, and watch them. And, and I think about when I was a boy and how I miss those that are no longer with us. Um, but one of these days, because of Christ coming, giving his life, there will be a great reunion day. And I do look forward to that. Have a great day. It's not Christmas Eve yet, of course. Sunday will be a Christmas Eve. If you watch our services, you will see Brother Chris Priest will be preaching Sunday morning. I'll be preaching Sunday evening. Um, but I want you to have a Merry Christmas and uh, be prepared for a Happy New Year, right? Lord, I thank you for the day you've given us. God, for those people that watch this, as I said, uh, we may still be here next year, but we may not meet like this. And even, even the way we are here today, uh, who knows how much longer I will do what I'm doing here uh, but God, one day we will meet uh, in heaven. I'm thankful for that. I pray that you will bless all those that hear this today through your word in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you folks. Have a great day and Merry Christmas.